Hi students, welcome to Samachir Study YouTube channel. This video lesson is based on Tamil Nadu State Board News Syllabus Standard 10 Science Subject. In Unit 1, Loss of Motion, we are going to deduce the equation of a force using Newton's Second Law of Motion. Students, last lesson la Newton's Second Law would definition padichurana. Okay, so according to this law, force acting on a body is directly proportional to the rate of change of linear momentum of the body. And change in momentum takes place in the direction of force. Eventually, definition padichurachi. Ippo, in the second law of motion we use panni, force or the expression nama derive panna pora. Okay, this is the book backed question, very important anna question. In the in the Newton second law of motion is also known as law of force. Okay, so law of force abdin soli kurutran danga na, it denotes Newton second law of motion. So, ipo nama deduce the equation of a force using Newton second law of motion abdin ra book back question oda and sara discuss panna pora. So, this law helps us to measure the amount of force. Let us consider m as the mass of a moving body. It moves along the straight line with the initial velocity u. After a time interval of t, the velocity of the body changes to v due to the impact of an unbalanced external force f. That is the end derivation. Layo, first, that is basic quantities. We define pannanum. Okay, so this is the theoretical. This is a practical, easy and example. Okay, so you go to the shopping malls. Then you can push a shopping cart or a trolley. Okay, so let us consider mass of this trolley is m. Okay, so now you have the initial velocity u1. So initial rest you assume the rest of the Then you are applying an unbalanced force. Unbalanced force apply to the movement. So you are applying some unbalanced force. Push the Push the the trolley move. So it attains the final velocity v after the time interval t. So one mass is added and the mass is initial velocity u. Now, if you apply an unbalanced force, this mass will move. Then, this is final velocity v. So, change in velocity. In this time, in the initial velocity to final velocity, time is t. So, this is what you will do. Now, how many parameters are defined? 5 parameters. Number 1, mass. m be the mass of the moving body. It moving along the straight line with an initial velocity u. After the time interval t, velocity of the body changes to v due to the impact of unbalanced external force f. So, in the five different parameters you need to define this derivation. Panala. We have to write the initial momentum of the body. So, last class la tha, linear momentum of the body. That is mathematical expression. Paathurna. What is linear momentum? It is the multiplication of mass and velocity. Okay. So, this is the end condition. Rikudu. Initial velocity u, final velocity v. So, in the particular case, la, initial momentum tha, pi is defined by i is the initial. Final momentum of the body Pf. So Pi equal to mass into initial velocity. That is u. Final momentum of the body mass into final velocity. Okay. So change in momentum. Final momentum minus initial momentum. That is Pf minus Pi. Note. So we can write change in momentum equal to mv minus mu. Okay. So, now we calculate the change in momentum. Calculate Nala note pannunga. Newton's second law of motion statement. Force is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum. So, we calculate the rate of change of momentum. Now, the rate of change of momentum is the rate of change That is change in momentum divided by time. Okay, so now we already change in momentum calculate divided by time force expression. Okay, 
So, F is directly proportional to change in momentum. Enna calculate pannu irukkuroon? Mv minus Mu divided by T. Or expression venoon sonna, in the proportional nama equal to symbol ku maathanu. Yepidhi maathala? We have to add one proportionality constant. Ok, inga K ingradu or proportionality constant add pannu irukkuroon. So, in the proportional symbol, ipp enna thaa idutschi? Equal to symbol a change ahi achi. So, F equal to K into M V minus U. எது நால் இங்க வந்து M வந்து common ஆருக்குது. Okay. So, M V minus U அப்படின் இங்கே எழுதியாத்து. Divided by T. Now, K equal to 1 in all system of units. K ஓட value எப்படி இருக்குது? 1. Okay. So, we can apply K as 1. So, we get the expression F equal to M into V minus U by T. இந்த V minus U by T நீங்கள் படிச்சிருக்கிறீர்களா? அல்ரடி 9th standardல acceleration படிச்சிருக்கீர்கள். What is acceleration? Change in velocity by time. A equal to V minus U by T. So V minus U by T இங்குது எது denote பண்ணுது? Acceleration. So இந்த value அதாவது நம்ம் பிரிவியச் செய்துனா M இந்து V minus U by Tல இதை எப்படி substitute பண்ணப் போரும். Acceleration. So, F equal to M into A. So, force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. இதுதான் force ஓட mathematical expression. Okay, students, hope you understand the derivation. Derivation now once again சொல்கிறேன். First, you have to define five quantities. எதல்லாம் mass, initial velocity, time, final velocity and force. Then second, you have to write the expression for initial momentum, final momentum and find the change in momentum. This is second step. After finding the change in momentum, you substitute in force expression. Force is directly proportional to change in momentum divided by time. Okay. So, either in the proportionality constant is the third step. Fourth step in up and wrong. Change the proportionality constant the K in solely. நீங்கள் எழுதி denote பண்ணிக்கிட்ட அதோட value 1 என்ன substitute பண்டிருங்க finally F equal to M into V minus U by T இந்த V minus U by T யதா நீங்கள் என்ன சொல்கிறீங்க acceleration சொல்கிறோம் okay வா very simple steps you can derive the expression very easily இப்போ unit ஓட the force ஓட unit என்ன பாப்போம் உங்களுக்க அல்ரடி SI units படிக்கும் போதே படிச்சிருக்கிறீங்க force ஓட unit Newton But in CGS system, அதாது olden daysல, இந்த force ஓட unit dyne அப்படின் சொல்வாங்க. இப்போ இது நம்ம define பண்ணலாம். Definition of 1 Newton. Okay, இப்போதான் படிச்சும் F equal to M into A. So, இங்க F வந்து 1 Newton இருக்கனும் சொன்னா, M எப்படி இருக்கும் 1 kg இருக்கும். A வந்து எப்படி இருக்கும் 1 ms power minus 2. So, இது பேச் பண்ணி நம்ம இப்போ definition எழுதலாம். The amount of force required for a body of mass, 1 kg produces an acceleration of 1 ms power minus 2. That is 1 newton equal to 1 kg ms power minus 2. இதே மாதிரி நீங்கள் dyneக்கு expression அதால் definition கொடுக்கலாம். எப்படி இருக்குடுக்கலாம்? dyneகிறது CGS system. அப்போ இந்த M எப்படி எழுதுமோ? 1 gram. A எப்படி இருக்கும்? centimeter s power minus 2. Okay, வா? So, இதை மட்டன் change பண்ணிங்கள் நான் you can define 1 dyne. The amount of force required for a body of mass 1 gram produces an acceleration of 1 centimeter s power minus 2. That is known as 1 dyne. இப்போ, Newtonுக்கும் இந்த CGS சிஸ்டத்தோடு unit dyneுக்கும் உள்ள difference என்ன பார்த்திங்கள் நான் 1 Newton is equal to 10 power 5 dyne. இதுதான் இந்த ரெண்டுக்கும் உள்ள relationship. Okay. Now, application of Newton's second law in our real world. நான் அல்லைடி சொன்னது மாதிரி, ஒரு shopping mall, நீங்கள் shopping cartல, எந்த ஒரு objects மே இல்லாம் அதாது நீங்கள் shopping மன்றுதுக்கு முன்னாடி, அதை push பண்டுது ரும்ப easy ஆருக்கும். Pushing an empty cart in supermarket is very easy. இப்படித்தானே, அதை டைம்ல இதல் நீங்கள் நரைய நீங்கள் பொருக்கல் வாங்கிட்டீங்கள். There are lot of things in your shopping cart. So, you have to apply more force for 
the movement accelerate aganumna ninga enna pannanum idhila heavy ana nariya objects varumbodhu you must apply more force for acceleration so this is our day to day life example now let us discuss choose the correct answer fourth question pathinga na plotting a graph for momentum on the y axis and time on x axis slope of momentum time graph gives this question na nalla note panninga na y axis la momentum um x axis la time um kuduthirukanga slope of momentum time graph nu kuduthirukanga what is slope slope ngiradhu endha or graph layum change in y axis divided by change in x axis denote pannum so inga change in y axis enadhu change in momentum x axis enadhu time so appo idhu inda slope ngiradhu edha mean pannudhu change in momentum by time ipo da nama derivation la padichom change in momentum divided by time is force so in the question ku answer enadhu option c force okay now answer in detail la in the question da nama in the full video la discuss pannom deduce the equation of force using newton second law of motion idhu or simple solved problem Uh, calculate velocity of a moving body of mass 5 kg whose linear momentum is 2.5 kg ms power minus 1 the direct substitution students linear momentum thukku already ungalku formula theriyum mass into velocity so velocity equal to linear momentum by mass idha neenga substitute panninga na 2.5 divided by 5 that is equal to 0.5 ms power minus 1 Okay students hope you understand the concept of Newton's second law of motion and derivation if you like this video please subscribe and share it to your friends thank you so much for watching